I would like to give a special now addict shout out to Exotica's Empire, Jamila Baker, Omnia's Wish, and Angie for being the first one to comment on my last video. Thank you so, so much. Hey y'all, welcome back and welcome if you're new. My name is Sheena and if you haven't already, please click the like and subscribe button and let's go ahead and get into today's set. So I'm back with my daughter, Janisa. It's been a while since she's featured because of school and ceramics. She hasn't really been wearing nails, but we're back and we're using McCart Pump Ups, the Bachelor at set. Um, so the tip is already like tanned out. I did all of the prep off camera um, for her nails and now we're just jumping into the set. So we are on day 17 of my 25 days of Christmas nails and she said she wanted a brown Christmas set so I came with it. She let me freestyle and just do something that I wanted to do. So I'm going in now with a layer of base coat over all of her nails and then she will cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds. So y'all know typically I like to show the products I'm using. Today I am using Allborn Pretty Gels for the design and I'm using from their brown series. Um, I will have that link down below if I'm able to find it. But I'm doing a Frenchie on her pinky, her middle, in her index with the darkest brown out of that set. Such an absolute gorgeous brown. So typically she likes colors like this. This is more her stilo unless she's on like a mixed match situation. Then of course it's just kind of all over the place. And normally she goes in and she goes to Pinterest or wherever and finds a design that she does want me to do. Maybe switch to colors or whatever. But pretty much go off the inspo photo that she gives me. Today she was just like... I want you to just do something because I've been watching you lately and you do really, really well with your art. So just create something. So I decided to put a base on the French tips of this darker brown. And I did one layer of it here on camera. She did cure that for 30 seconds. And then off camera, I did go ahead and do a second coat to, build, to make it just more opaque. For the brush today, my nail art brush, I'm using my McCart nail art brush, the number three out of that set. Um, one of my favorite kind of go-tos when I need a brush that's not too long. Um, this is like typically what I go to. Um, I've started doing my fringes now where I kind of just map where I want my smile line to go. And especially if I'm doing someone else, I can kind of just see where I would need to make that smile line and then I do use my nail art brush to fill in the sides and then I typically take the brush from the actual polish and fill in the rest of that. I hope that everyone is having an amazing morning, afternoon, evening, or night wherever you may be and I will always take my time every video to do my little spiel because I appreciate everyone that shows up so thank you so much to anyone that does take their time to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys so much. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the Nail Attic family and I thank you so much. So Angie in the beginning of the video, my top four of the last video, she's new and I'm so happy to have you. Welcome. I am excited to just kind of show you what I know, my techniques and the things that I do when I'm doing my nails or other nails. And if you are subscribed to the channel, I love you guys so, so much. And I thank you so much for your continued love and support.
So now the nails are fresh out of the lamp after the second coat and I am now just placing a layer of top coat over all of the nails because I'm going to do some sweater nails but I do want the background to still be shiny because she likes matte nails but she typically goes for a glossy nail. So I decided I would do that for her only because she does have like ceramic still and like you know the clay and stuff I feel will stick a lot more maybe to matte versus glossy and that's only because the last set I did for her with you guys was her cause set and yeah they were pretty damaged so <laughs> we'll see how this one goes but she's been keeping away from nails just so that she can focus on ceramics because she really really likes it so for the pinky I am taking a lighter brown from that born pretty collection and I'm gonna do a sweater design but the middle part of the sweater design is gonna be hearts so typically how I make my hearts is how you see it and I've just always done it this way and I just I don't know I won't change I like it because my hearts come out good so I take a dotting tool and I make two dots and then I'm gonna use my nail art brush whichever I'm using at the time and I'm just gonna pull that um, gel into a heart shape and it always again for me it always works really really well and I get pretty cute hearts when I do it this way um, depending on the gel it can sometimes flood but this gel worked okay uh, for my nail art once I get these hearts exactly how I want I'm then gonna take my nail art brush and go on either side and well first I'm gonna do a dot with my dotting tool um, just to kind of map that and then take my nail art brush and go on either side and make a line going down like so then I'm going to go back in with my dotting tool again and instead of making the lines on the side, I decided I wanted to do um, like dots on the side. So I'm going to take the dotting tool and just create dots all the way down the nail on either, either side. I do apologize about the view. Um, some of it, like I'm always in frame, but it's like I ha it's been so long since I've recorded someone. I didn't always have it held to where you can kind of see exactly what's going on, but you get the picture. So I'm taking then some clear acrylic and you can use any clear acrylic. I'm using my McCart one this time and I'm just going to pour over that design while it's wet to make that embossed look and then she's going to cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. So moving on to the middle finger, I am taking that same um, color and for this one I decided to make the outer lines first because I've never done this type of a sweater design um, but I did see it and I wanted to try it so I am going in and making some diamond shapes. So I start at the top like to make the top of a triangle and then connect them to the side lines and then just take from that and do the same thing going in the opposite direction. I'm also going to make one right underneath as well to create that centerpiece. And then in the middle of those diamonds, I'm trying to make an even smaller diamond there. But it pretty much looks like a dot, but it worked out. It just looked really nice to me. Excuse the ambulances. I am sitting in my truck to do my voiceover, so I do apologize if you can hear them. They sound pretty far, but I know that sound picks up really well when doing voiceovers, so my apologies. And then I'm going in on the side again and creating those dots down either side of the nail. And then I'm going to, again, take that same um, acrylic and just pour over this design before actually having her go in and cure. So again, I just take it and I kind of just pour over till I don't see any wetness from the gel polish. And then again, just like tap off any excess and then she'll go in and cure for 30 seconds. So the index is going to replicate the pinky as far as the hearts down the middle. So I'll go ahead and let you watch me create this design.
So for the ring and the thumb, it's gonna be the same. So I'm only gonna show the ring finger, but I'm just making a heart. So I'm not gonna fill it in. I'm gonna keep it, you know, just like a heart shape and kind of try to get those sides as thick as I can without being too overly thick. So of course I start out thin and then this is where I'll go in with more gel just to kind of make it to my liking with like the thickness and the width of the actual heart. And then I'll have her cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds. Once it's cured, I'm going in again with another layer of top coat because I do want this heart to stay shiny and have her cure for 30 seconds. Once that's cured, I'm taking the lighter brown and I'm just going in and it's supposed to be like candy canes, like lines or whatever like if this was done in like a typical color like a red and a white you would kind of get the gist but you know candy canes come in all different colors like I when I typically buy them for the Christmas tree I never get the peppermint red and white ones there's like different ones with different blues in it purples red browns like you name it there's a different color candy cane everywhere so this is supposed to be like a candy cane heart with the little lines in it with the darker brown in the back and i really liked how it came out it came out really good and again i did this on her thumb as well um so we're definitely not going to show that but this was such a quick set like this set was so quick it kind of blew my mind as you can see the video isn't as long as some of my other ones so and it's everything is in real time so yeah this was a real nice one it was real quick and easy so now i'm going in with that same shade and the dotting tool making a dot and i'm going to pull that gel with my nail art brush and make a four pointed star at the bottom and the top of her nail after I made the four pointed stars, I'm going to make a few other dots like right next to either four pointed stars. So a few at the top of the nail, a few at the bottom of the nail, and then I'm going to pour over with that acrylic and give it a 30 second cure. This is pretty much the set here. Um, I did apply some cuticle oil off camera or I'm sorry, she lotioned her her hands with some of our favorite lotion off camera. And I'll be back in just a moment with the final look. And here is the finished set. Super, super cute. Like, oh, I love them. This is a perfect brown, uh, like, Christmas set. And she loved it. But comment down below and let me know what you think of this set. And if you've made it this far into the video, I would love it if you would go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the post notification bell so you don't miss any of my future sets. I thank you for joining, you to, joining me today. <laughs> and I'll see you tomorrow. Remember to be the very best you that you can be and much love to you all.